first in farm materials handling, offers you the greatest labor saver in the history of hay handling. A 100% mechanical method of handling hay bales from field to feedlot. This simple, logical four-step system has not only mechanized hay handling, but has generally reduced it to a one-man job. The first step is the gathering and arranging of the bales with the bale accumulator. The bales are arranged in a package of eight as they come off the baler. From then on, this eight pack is handled as one unit, from field to rack to stack to feedlot. The second, or removal phase, includes pickup, loading, and hauling. Here, the hand is taken out of handling, requiring only the touch of a lever to grasp and lift 600 pounds of bales with the farmhand bale fork. The packs can be loaded on the rack much faster than the baler can bale them, and transported quickly and safely with a farmhand bale wagon over level ground or slope to the stack site. The third step is mechanical stacking, where one man with loader and bale fork builds stable, weather-resistant stacks better than any hand-built stack you've ever seen. The movement of bales to the feeding area is the final step in the revolutionary farmhand bale handling system. And not once during the entire process have the bales been lifted by hand. Pick them up and set them down. Each bale here, from field to storage, is lifted by hand at least four times. And three men do the job. This is ridiculous. Handling bales by hand belongs to the days of the walking plow and the thrashing machine, and has no place in modern farming. As you watch this mechanical system develop in detail, visualize the labor savings the greater speed and convenience, and the potentially better hay as compared with your present method. This entirely new system has been proven in all areas of the country, a system that works equally well in all hay crops, light or heavy, on all farms, large or small. The bale accumulator operates with a hydraulically driven pushover bar that moves the bales across the bed in pairs as they come off the baler. The instant the accumulator is filled to its capacity of eight, the push-off bar eases off all eight bales as a uniform package. The spring tension holds the bales securely in place on any terrain, preventing skidding or cocking while the eight pack is being formed. Two sources of hydraulic power are available for the accumulator. The farmhand plug-on pump operating off the tractor power takeoff is used with engine balers. PTO balers use the special hydraulic pump driven by twin V-belts off the baler flywheel. The farmhand bale accumulator is adaptable to most popular makes of square balers and adjusts for various size twine or wire tie bales. The newest model incorporates many improvements for added structural strength, a broader range of adjustments, and more stability with larger single dolly wheels. This accumulator has handled over 80,000 bales in one season. And a farmhand loader and bale fork working in extremely heavy hay, hauled and stacked as many as 4,000 bales a day. How does this compare with your present method? The accumulator is not limited to use on big fields or level land. It follows the baler faithfully on turns and keeps its packages intact on short strips, in corners, and on hillsides as well as on level ground. 
In the pickup and loading step, the eight pack of bales is handled as a single unit, requiring only the operation of a valve lever to sink the hooks, pick up and place 600 pounds of bales onto the rack. It would take four hired men on the ground and four on the rack to do the same job in the same time. Note also the third important unit of the farmhand system, the bale wagon with slanting tailgate, which permits fast, effortless loading and hauling 120 bales without cross-tying, without dropping a single bale. The pickup operation, the handling of bales in eight-pack units is done entirely from the tractor seat with the mere touch of a lever. The bale fork fits either the farmhand F10 or F11 loader and can be adapted to other heavy-duty loaders. In recent years, this rancher has spent from $3,500 to $4,000 every year on labor for three hired men working several weeks on each of three cuttings to put up his hay crop, wages plus room and board. Last year, he bought an accumulator and bale fork. This enabled one man to put up the hay crop alone in one third of the time, saving thousands of dollars in labor plus paying for the equipment that can be used for many years to come. We now see how this system does such an efficient job. By parking the wagon in a central location among the bale packages, the operator cuts his travel distance, thereby loading a maximum number of bales with minimum driving time. Note that the bed of the farmhand bale wagon is built the right length to accommodate bales in three packages of eight. A larger 160 bale model is also available. This system is so fast that one man with one tractor can load the bale wagon, haul it a mile or more, unload and stack the bales, and return to the field, all in about the same time it takes to bale the hay. One man working alone with the farmhand bale handling system can bale all morning and have the hay in the stack by supper time. The farmhand system solves several problems. Besides eliminating the back break and reducing manpower costs, it gets the hay off the field faster to preserve quality and to speed up watering in irrigated areas. It permits you to make bigger bales to save twine or wire. Farmhand has the only complete hay handling system that works equally well with any type A in any area and only the accumulator is seasonal equipment. The loader and wagon have dozens of year-round uses. One of the major benefits of the farmhand system is the ability to build a good tight stack. By stacking bales in packages of eight with the powerful bale fork, the stack is compacted tightly to assure the best preservation of the hay. Every bale is firmly placed, resulting in a much tighter stack than is possible by any manual method of stacking. Using the inherent mechanical force of the equipment, the tractor can compress each package of bales against those already in the stack. The result is a stack that withstands the deteriorating effects of weather, wind, rain, or snow. These neat, compact stacks stand up well, retain the quality of the hay, and are easy to feed from. For contrast now, let's look at two stacks put up at about the same time, a hand-built stack and a farmhand mechanically built stack. Which do you suppose provides the best hay? Now let's see how the stacking is done. The stack is started by placing two rows of eight packs about six inches apart as a foundation to the desired length of the stack. After several layers are up, the stability of any stack is improved by using the tractor as a ram to tamp the ends into even tighter compaction. Notice that as the stack is being built, the layers are moved slightly toward the middle so that by the fifth or sixth layer, the eight packs are butted up against one another in the center. This gives a sound, self-supporting base. With a careful operator and good bales, this stack can be built without getting off the tractor. 
How does this compare with the way you stack your hay? Another method suitable for all types of bales utilizes a guide core in starting the stack. The extra time taken to lay this core can be considered good insurance against a tumbled stack. The core is laid with the first layer running crosswise to the length of the stack, with the remaining layers going lengthwise. This method of stacking is excellent for inexperienced operators or for the expert who has just bought his bale fork attachment. In mechanical stacking, the bales fit together with the texture intertwined, a feature that cannot be obtained by hand stacking because only tractor power can pack bales that tightly. This farmhand built core stack of slippery barley straw owned by a senator from Grass Lodge, Montana withstood 100 mile per hour winds. There is more to the system than just hauling from the field and stacking. After the hay is put up, of course, it must be either fed or sold. The feeder can utilize the fork, as they're doing in many western areas, to move bales from the stack as needed into the feedlot. If the stack is located any distance from the livestock, the bale wagon can be loaded in a very short time and the bales hauled to the lot. Here, they're placed into the bunk or feed rack with the fork without touching a bale. For the commercial grower, savings are not only realized in the initial harvesting and handling of the hay, but also in loading the trucks and carriers with this mechanical method. Thus we see that the farmhand bale handling system is more than machinery. It is a method of hay farming and handling, a system that will enable one man to put up hay in large quantities without extra help, extra wage expense, and extra time. It gives the hay grower added muscle and speed to do a big job with no more effort expended than is necessary to drive the tractor. The new hay handling system pays off in better hay because it's off the field faster and because farmhand built stacks are tighter, more compact to reduce weather damage. By getting the bales off faster, you're able to irrigate sooner. You save twine or wire by making bigger bales. Unlike other bale handling equipment, two components, the loader and bale wagon, are year round equipment. Here is a method as modern as tomorrow that further mechanizes your ranch or farm. Now, you can expand your hay acreages, where it was previously impossible due to manpower shortage or high labor cost. Ask your farmhand dealer to show you this system and how it can work for you.